Uh, the following year, we had the Charlottetown Festival proper in 1965. And all the time I was on the Centennial Committee in, in uh, Ottawa, you see. And um, when I got that rolling, then the Toronto Committee uh, spoke to me about doing the St. Lawrence Centre. And so I left the, the uh, I turned the St. Lawrence, I turned the uh, Charlottetown Festival over to, over to Ellen Lund. Uh, and the, the, the rest of the, I actually I had the whole building to run, not just the festival. And that part of it went over to an administrator in Charlottetown, which is much the best way to do it. Very able people they had. And uh, I came to Toronto, but then of course the St. Lawrence Centre was delayed and delayed and delayed for one reason or another. And there, were, there was a lot of dreadful politicking. And and how was the building of the St. Lawrence Centre, which we remember as a, a, a concrete theatre that was eventually redone by Lee Gilbert, how was the building of that well, compromised was, by these political fights? It was supposed to have build, been built on two sides, one concert hall. To the one, north on the park opposite. Yeah, and, uh, and one, one the concert hall and one the theatre, separate buildings. Right. And uh, finally, uh, the committee and I decided that the only way to get it built had been a great deal of money raised, and in nickels and dimes, not big offers so much as in just the general public wanted it. And were there generous private donations to it? Yes, oh indeed, indeed. And we decided that the only way it was ever going to get built was to combine the buildings. So we, we, uh, we built the theater. For financial reasons or political reasons? Oh, political. The city didn't want to give you the extra land or? No, no, no. The other, you see, by this time, the, the other uh, uh, areas of uh, Toronto, the other municipalities, uh, had their own centennial project. They weren't going to give it all away to Toronto. This was Toronto's centennial project. Right. This, for the records, when Toronto was, in fact, a much smaller version of the city before amalgamation, and before, before the, the massive undertaking Toronto, yeah. that, that Harris did. Yes. So uh, that that was the uh, that that was the huge difficulty that the, 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 there were forces working against having it built at all. And who were those forces? Uh, maybe most of them led by Alan Lampard on the city council, but others at the provincial level too. But we had, we had um, great supporters, Judy LaMarche, federally, and people in the, at the, at the uh, provincial level, too, who were determined to help us. And uh, that way we got it built. But the, the building was, was done, was contracted for by the city. And they chose architects who knew nothing about building entertainment places. And uh, I had uh, discussions with them, but I never got through. I spent a half an hour one time with the architect and the board talking about making it look less like a post office or a jail. And please, I said, this is the place where entertainment is going in, in, on inside. And then secondly, outside, we need to know what's going on inside. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I could not get them away from this institutional, massive notion that they had that it was a public building, therefore it, it had to be this kind of monumentalism. After half an hour of talking, I can remember Gordon Atkinson, Gordon Adamson rather, the, the, the principal architect nodding his head and say, saying, I'm not sure I grasp what you mean. <laughs> And I was equally sure he didn't grasp what I did. So it, it was, um, I, I could have very little effect on it. What I, did, what I did do was preserve the backstage. Right. I, I got everything backstage was really first class. I didn't do it. I mean, I had an excellent mm -hmm. uh, group of people working with me. Uh, that's the secret of organization. And uh, it, it, uh, it therefore had, a, had first class facilities. It was the auditorium itself.
and it was dowdy and wrong and from the beginning. So I was very pleased when uh, Eddie and, uh, and, and yeah. his troops were able to. Uh, I remember acting get it in that redone. space, and it was a bit like acting in part of Maple Leaf Gardens. Yeah, yeah. Like the Arcana Center was crazy. Massive, uh, overkill. I had been space. terribly critical of, of the building of when I was being a theater critic. I was very critical of uh, the O'Keefe Center, you know, the Hummingbird, uh, for the same reasons. And I directed <coughs> in there. I directed opera in there. 